Well, Roth has this podcast, and I haven't heard it, but I had callers calling me yesterday telling me that he said he was getting together to meet with the brothers about some things. Well, you know, I saw, there's a couple of Van Halen fan sites that I actually go on and read. There's one called the Van, the Van Halen VH Links, and another one called the Van Halen News Desk. Right. Which is, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I thought, I think I saw on Van Halen News Desk, he was in, now he recently did some kind of a, he was involved with some dance or techno mix of Jump that some DJ did. Yeah, did you hear it? Yeah, I, well, I heard, yeah, I heard, I saw a video of him in Florida when yeah. they were premiering yeah. it, I think. <laughs> yes, what'd you think of that? Oh, well, about the same reaction you just had right there. <laughs> <laughs> he had a nice jacket on, yep. if you're going fishing. <laughs> but I guess, I guess they took this thing over to Europe, I read. Uh, I went over to the Van Halen News Desk, and it shows a little clip of some interview that he did where he was saying that he was going to go. They were asking him about new music or touring or anything Van Halen re- uh, going on, and he said he was going to be meeting with the with the Van Halen brothers the next week to discuss stuff. Mm. And then I and then it, and then it sounds like he started kind of backpedaling and uh, d- realizing what he said. He didn't want to get himself in too deep on anything. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, what's interesting is he's done a couple of interviews because he's selling this tattoo cream that he made this company that's selling tattoo cream. And, you know, in both, in two, three, the two, three interviews he's done, nobody has asked him or he has, nobody's even asked him about Van Halen, which tells me one of two things. Either the interviewers aren't doing their job or they were told in advance, you can't ask about Van Halen. As there's always this cloak of secrecy about, you know, around the, the band. But uh, he, him saying he's meeting with the brothers, but is it still radio silence on your end? You've heard nothing. I've heard, I've heard nothing, Eddie. In fact, we just, you know, we just came off our great, oh, in fact, really quick, I just want to thank all the fans that came out to see the circle. We just finished our, uh, this leg of the tour. We, uh, came home on the, on the ninth. And, uh, man, what a great, great shows. We played to a lot of people and, uh, we had just a great time. But, uh, the reason that w- the circle's taking a break right now is that if things would have worked out as they were starting to go or as planned, I, we probably, we would have been in, uh, pre-production rehearsals with Van Halen right now. Wow. So it was because that, Sammy, it I'm was... Sure everybody, I'm sure you know that, you know, everybody, Sammy had made a statement saying that, yeah. uh, you know, if, if uh, I was offered and, you know, and I, I actually, I, you know, I can tell you, I did, I did, I spoke with Irving Azoff last October. That's when I first heard from him and he asked if I would be interested in, in any kind of a reunion and I told him, I said, yeah. I was finishing up a couple of shows with Sammy and I said, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I got these few d- dates left, and then give me a call. And uh, I never heard a call back. And then uh, right after the first of the year, uh, I got uh, in, or, uh, David Lee Roth, Dave's uh, business manager, or some, a lawyer or something, got a hold of me about a meeting or something. And so at that point, I just, I, I, I gave it over to our manager because I, you know, I didn't want to start getting this in, in this, this whole thing. I wanted to do it the correct way, especially right. after the way things went for me in 2004. Right. And we won't get into that, that, but, but, uh, you know, from what I had heard, and I hadn't spoken to any of the guys that, you know, they were going to try to plan a thing for this summer. And, uh, for whatever reason, I mean, I was never, my my people were never, they never got in touch with us about any kind of a contract or uh, any kind of a you know meeting to discuss or whatever. And the next thing I knew that uh, the plug got pulled on it.